guys welcome back to my channel I'm Tiana if this is your first time here and if it is make sure you guys subscribe and if it's not your first time thanks for returning so this is an Aspen vlog my boyfriend and I just got to Aspen <clears throat> it's like it's 2 30 we probably got here around 2 ish and we just pulled up to our hotel but they don't have like self park so we're gonna look around the area to see if we can find parking um, because I think they only have valet parking and it's $60 a night, I think. There's so many other options around here that are nearby. So we're just gonna find residential parking or like a parking garage or whatever. So that's what we're doing right now. I can show you guys what I'm looking at. There's snow everywhere. Um, for people who are not watching this, as soon as I'm posting it, this is Thanksgiving day. So happy Thanksgiving, everyone. And yeah, we're just gonna find a place to park and then go back to the hotel. All right, you guys, so it's a little bit later. It's like 4.45 right now. So let me just catch you up to speed. So what we have done so far, it's not a whole lot. We just booked ski lessons or snowboarding lessons for tomorrow. So we're gonna take like beginner lessons and it's from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And then I think the ski lifts close at 3.30 or 4. So we'll just be out there until they close. But that's not until tomorrow. So tonight we have reservations for dinner at 8 o'clock. And like I said, it's like 4.45 right now. So I probably am going to start getting ready around 6.30. So in the meantime, we decided we're going to go to the pool. So I just got my bathing suit on and then this cover up. All right guys, so we're headed to dinner now. I did my makeup and stuff really quick. Reservation is at eight and it's like 7.55, but the place is really close. It's like seven minutes away, so we won't have a problem getting there. So I tried to get footage of us in the hot tub, but it was really dark. It was nighttime, so it's probably hard to see. I'll stick clips in here for you guys so you can try to make out how it looked, but yeah, it was just too dark, so I didn't even bother vlogging. But yeah, so like I said, I'm dressed now, getting ready for dinner. Um, I just have on this simple brown dress. I just figured it's Thanksgiving, so I to wear like a cute brown dress or whatever. And then I have this brown pea coat that I'm gonna wear, so that should be cute. Um, yeah. you guys so today is Friday it's the next day of uh, dinner was amazing like 10 stars across the board every single dish was fire yes I tried every single dish so right now it's about 8 30 ish I really don't even think we're gonna have time for breakfast we need to be at the place around 9 15 because we have our snowboarding lessons this morning the snowboarding lessons are from 10 to 3 but you need to have all your equipment together and be at the place ready to go at 10 and we don't have snowboards we don't have goggles like we don't have a whole lot of equipment so we need to go to the store try on things get our stuff together before we can go to the slopes at 10 o'clock so we need to get there a little early so 9 15 is what we're thinking but we also want to get some breakfast in but I don't know if we're gonna have time to do that so I'm ready to go I just have on this black jumpsuit this actually was given to me by my friend and underneath it I have a black uh, long sleeve turtleneck bodysuit and then I have my Uggs I just recently bought some Uggs um because i've been wanting uggs for years y'all and i finally went and bought them so have some uggs just gonna wear that to the place and then i also have a coat but it must be on the other side in the other room so yeah that's all i'm gonna wear but yes today should be fun we have snowboarded before but it was like five six years ago so i don't even know if we remember how to do anything that we've learned but i'm hoping that it comes back to us quickly and maybe the instructor will be like okay y'all can go on y'all's own but i imagine we'll be on the bunny slopes for a long time today so i'm excited either way i just want to get out there pretty much we've just been taking it day by day the only thing that we planned in advance 
are the places we're gonna eat and that's because it's thanksgiving so we wanted to make sure that places weren't booked up in advance so yesterday we ate at plato's restaurant i highly recommend that if you're coming for thanksgiving but even if you're not i feel like the food would be good anyway like everything was good um tonight we are eating at catch steak so there is a catch steak in la but we have not tried that so we're gonna try it out here and we'll see how that is the reservation is at eight o'clock tonight and then tomorrow we have reservations at eight o'clock at ajax tavern so yeah that's what we have going on right now and as soon as we throw something else in i'll let y'all know but other than that i'm gonna go ahead and get ready to go my boyfriend is getting ready now hopefully he can get ready quickly so we can get some breakfast in before we hit the slopes for the day i'm kind of nervous to take this camera with me because we're gonna be on the snow and snowboarding and I don't want to break this camera, y'all, because I don't know what I'm doing out there. My boyfriend brought his GoPro, so I might switch to the GoPro. I don't know. But yeah, so anyways, let's go ahead and go. All right, we're about to walk out the door right now. But I decided to throw on one more jacket just so I can have an extra layer while we're out there in the snow. But I wanted to show you guys this jacket and this coat that I'm wearing. So both of them are from a brand called Viore. This video is not sponsored. I just saw them when I was at Air One one day and I just happened to just browse in the store and I like fell in love with everything in that store. So I went and bought some things, let me show you. So this jacket, I just like love the material of it. It's like 90% recycled and like 10% elastane. I'm sure I'm messing the percentages up, but whatever and then this coat is also from viori this is their logo um but yeah i love the coat too i don't remember how much this one was but i know this was 200 dollars. so i'm about to find out if it's worth it because if not it's going back i don't own any like cold outerwear because i live in la and never needed it so i just decided to go buy some really quick and then this jumpsuit it came from my friend priscilla so Thank you Priscilla because I honestly did not have anything else to wear and it's super thick and under I have on some leggings. Yeah, so I'm pretty layered up on top and I think I'll be all right. finished snowboarding it is almost 4 30 right now we're in the car getting ready to just walk around and see what stores they have i'm thirsty and i also have to go to the bathroom so i want to find a place where i can get me a drink and then use the restroom and then just walk around and see what kind of stores they have around here <laughs>
you guys. I'm looking a little raggedy right now, but that's because I'm about to go to bed. I'm about to wash my face and go to bed. So for dinner, all I did was put on mascara and lipstick. That's it. So I'm just going to wash my face, go to bed. I already changed clothes. I'm so tired. So tired. Like today just, today drained me. Okay? Mm -mm -mm. Today drained me. So what did we do? So while we were snowboarding, we picked it up pretty quickly, I feel like. Um, but we're going to go back tomorrow. And I want to ride that roller coaster that they have in there. And probably like do some more snow snowboarding with or without the instructor. I don't know yet. Probably start out with him and then do our own thing. Because I feel like we both are pretty like quick learners and kind of like caught on pretty quickly. So that's good. Snowboarding was fun. So fun. Even though we were in the, the bunny slopes like all day, but it was still fun. And uh, we had a really great instructor. So after that, we went shopping. So I tried to get some clips in here for you, but um, they as soon as they saw me recording, they were like, man, we can't have any videos in here. So I had to shut it down. Ben ended up buying something from Louis Vuitton. He just bought like a jacket. It changes colors. It's like monogram print. And it changes colors when it has like some heat on it. So that's pretty cool and it's part of the Virgil collection and he loves Virgil so he got that and then we just walked around a little bit more and then we came back to the hotel um, sat and got some drinks and just kind of like chatted about what we wanted to do tomorrow because like I told you we're just doing it day by day so that's the plan for tomorrow and then at 8 o'clock we went to our reservation at Catch. I'll throw some footage of that in here. We both got drinks. The drinks were really good. I got a filet. He got the New York strip. And his was kind of dry. But mine was so good. Like I have no complaints whatsoever. So my meal there was good. So far the food in Aspen has been great. Everywhere we've gone the food has just been really good. Snowmass is about 20 minutes away and that's where we were snowboarding earlier today. Snowmass has enough. It has everything we need. It's really cute little village, little plaza. Very nice people. So far everyone in Aspen has been very nice, very friendly. I've really enjoyed my time here so far. Um, it's only Friday. We still have two more days. So that's pretty much the summary of today and how today went. Had a lot of fun, but we are both very tired. And hopefully we don't feel like we got hit by a truck tomorrow. We only fell like twice each. It wasn't that bad, y'all. So I'm excited to get back to it tomorrow and do more things on my own. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead, take my makeup, the little bit of makeup I have on left and take that off and then get in the bed because it's like... 10 30 ish right now and i can't stay up late no more so i'll check in with you guys tomorrow morning you guys happy saturday saturday morning i'm already dressed and ready to go um ben is dressed ready to go uh, we basically have on the same thing we had yesterday because when we packed we didn't plan on snowboarding for two days so this is all we got this isn't really snowboarding gear like i, I highly recommend you wearing some like uh, water resistant kind of pants, maybe like windbreaker kind of material, something like that. But it's fine, it'll work for today. Um, right now we're about to go um, downstairs and eat breakfast here at the hotel. Their ingredients are locally sourced and organic from local farms and everything. So really good options. gonna do the roller coaster finally I'm so excited this is my priority for today so we had to buy this ticket separately this was about $33 each this is what it looks like <laughs>
just checking in. Um, we had some drinks, so I'm feeling it a little bit. But we are about to go to dinner, and I'm out of breath because I really, I really don't know why I'm out of breath. I think it's because I had to take my pants off. I don't know, but I'm out of breath. Anyways, we're about to go to the hot tub, so we have about an hour to kill before dinner dinner is only like three minutes away from here we're gonna eat at ajax tavern tonight our reservations at eight o'clock so we're just gonna go to the hot tub relax i know our muscles are kind of sore from earlier today and yesterday like snowboarding all day yesterday and today so we just want to get in the hot tub and that's gonna feel good so even though it's freezing outside so it's 27 degrees right now Y'all, I remember going to dinner the first night and it was 19 degrees. I was freezing. It is so cold here. But, um, I mean, that's to be expected. It's Aspen. So, yeah, we're about to change into our bathing suits and then head on up to the roof. Get in the hot tub and the pool. I don't know if I'm going to take you guys because it's really dark outside. And like I showed y'all earlier, like the footage is not great. So, I'll probably keep my camera in the room while we do that. After that, we're gonna come back, take a shower, and then get ready for Ajax Tavern. Yeah, so we're just gonna take a shower and get ready for dinner, and yeah, that's about it. And then tomorrow, I think we decided that we were gonna do the Glenwood Springs, so it's about an hour from here, and then it's just like a mineral, like a hot springs, like a natural hot springs place. So that's what I'm expecting anyway, I don't know. Never been, so yeah, that's about it. good morning you guys it is sunday now so we're heading back tonight um back to la our flight's at like nine something so we need to be there at eight o'clock which means we need to leave aspen actually we have to turn the rental so we need to be back before eight so we probably need to leave aspen at around 3 30 at the latest so right now it's 12 11 and we're gonna drive up to glenwood springs and do the the hot springs and then probably stay there for an hour and then drive back and we're already packed and ready to go we just really got to pick our stuff up and pack the car so we're good on that end but i figured before i ended this vlog i could probably answer some questions that i think someone might ask in the comments in this video because i don't think i had a chance to talk about any of this so we rented the car we rented so we rented an suv this is a ford explorer i think we really wanted something with four wheel drive and at first i was like i don't think we're gonna need it but it snowed a lot last night like our car was covered in snow um the streets covered in snow so it's probably a good idea for us to get a car with four wheel drive i definitely recommend that if you're coming in in the winter like late fall winter season just go ahead and get the car with four wheel drive just to be safe because our car was kind of like buried like surrounded in snow whenever we had to pull out of our parking spot speaking of parking um i live in la so parking is like something you gotta think about before you go everywhere um so parking actually the hotel had parking for 60 dollars a night but if you just go like two blocks away and walk is free so that's what we parked the whole weekend it was parking was free for us walking there there was also street parking that you could pay for like pay to park but if you just do one more block like is is literally like a three minute walk it's not far at all at least from the hotel that we stayed at we stayed at the w aspen i mean you can valet if you want but i don't feel like it's worth it just just walk park your car and walk other than that let me see there are no ubers here so the w has like bmws that the hotel guests can use like to get chauffeured wherever throughout the city i'm sure within like a certain radius and that's pretty much what we use to get around anytime we went somewhere for like dinner or something except for last night ajax tavern was walking distance but um they dropped us off at catch steak they dropped us off at plato's restaurant and they picked us back up we also asked our driver like how's the uber situation here he said there really is no uber situation and it's because the city is so small it's kind of like a waste of time for an uber driver to take anybody anywhere they wouldn't really be making any money so 
yeah most of the stuff here is walking distance um but fortunately for us we had the chauffeur service available for us at the w so um other than that that's parking there's no ubers rented an suv dinner so like i said earlier in the vlog all of our dinner reservations were at eight o'clock catch steak was very lively as you saw earlier in the vlog um but everywhere else was kind of dead oh he's getting back in the car um but like Maybe I want to say like when the sun goes down at around five, six, that's probably like the prime time for dinner. Um, but we're just used to eating dinner like between seven and eight or whatever. And that's what we made our reservations for. So it was kind of dead everywhere, even on the streets, just walking. But yeah, the restaurants were dead, streets dead. So the city probably dies down at around like six, seven o'clock. Yeah, that's about it, y'all. If you have any other questions, just ask them in the comments below. And I'll make sure to answer them if I if I can. So other than that, y'all, we're about to take this drive. We're leaving the gas station now. We're about to drive to Glenwood Springs, relax a little bit, y'all. I have so many bruises on my legs. <laughs> I have one really bad bruise and it's kind of my fault. But um, yeah, so we're gonna get on the road and I'll check in with you guys later. my camera just freezes and it gets stuck so on my phone but we're wrapping up the vlog because we're about to head back Ben is getting the car to pull up so we can stick our luggage inside of it um, it's a four hour actually like three hour 50 minute ride back to um, Denver to catch our flight so we're making really good time but yeah that's pretty much it for the vlog so thank you guys so much for watching as always I really appreciate it if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel i post on sundays and other than that you guys i really enjoyed my time in aspen people here are very friendly i meant to say that earlier in the vlog everywhere we went we had great interactions with every everyone so um service everywhere was great no complaints so really nice trip nice to get away change of scenery for us we don't usually do cold vacations so this is a nice change of pace for us so um yeah that's pretty much it guys thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys